Welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Dank Twice. I am your host, Alex, also known as Solonis Dracone. Here we stand upon the Vermilion Bridge, victorious over the true corrupted monk. And now we are going to proceed into the Divine Realm. I'm trying my microphone a bit lower through OBS's settings since apparently my system can't decide whether it's got a microphone or not. So hopefully my voice isn't as obnoxious as it has been in the last couple episodes. Even I'm cringing at it. So let's get our memory of the true monk going. And of course a quick rest to top everything up. And we're just going to be doing a quick little run through the realm here. Um, it's going to be another kind of blitzkrieg through most of it, although we will be stopping to do a couple things here and there. A very pretty place, all these Sakura trees, but it is kind of falling apart, it looks like. Now, the first enemy you're going to encounter in here is going to be one of these nobles. Now, if they see you, they're going to try and drain your vitality. Not your vitality exactly, but like your youth or whatever. And if they get that all the way to the top, you are going to uh, have a totally different status ailment called Enfeebled, and that's just not good at all. So you deal with two, and then there's one behind this screen. They go down real quick though. Real, real easy, real quick. Now, as far as I know, and I'm probably wrong, but these are the only guys that drop uh, Grave Wax. Now, you don't want to go for a swim in this big lake area just yet, because... Let's see if the monocular can spot it. There is someone standing up there on that tree, and uh, they will take exception to you going in the water at this point. So before you even think about going in the water, you need to take care of them. I'm going to skip around most of this here. There is some loot right there that I might want to go for, actually. But, uh, want to take care of some of these guys first. Alright. I'm also going to want to get together 5,000 Sen, uh, because on, in this episode I want to start going for the Mask Fragments. Let's just move forward as far as we can here. Now, you want to, you know, carefully skirt your way around this area here. Because these, uh, these dogs will spot you. And they're lightning dogs. Ugh. Nasty little bastards. Lightning fish dogs, if you can believe that. Okay, now the, the best way to proceed from here is take this guy out. With a quickness. And this old woman wants a word with us, so why not? お若い人。お気をつけください。宮の貴族たちは若い世紀に乾いています。吸いたくて吸いたくて仕方がないのです。特にこの先中庭は鬼門です。宮の貴族が so yes, uh, she's warning you about this. What more does she have to say? その時、恋に見入られてしまいました。もうずっと、ずっと、ただ恋に餌をやっています。お若いお人、どうか父を恋の呪縛から解き放ってください。あのような永遠は父の望みではありませんでした。so yes, her father has been uh, tricked into becoming a feeder of the Great Carp. 
Let's just go ahead and load up the long spark. And uh, yeah, the third one's not so important. I'm gonna go ahead and use Gachin Spiritful because you wanna be a bit stealthy going through this next section. Run along behind the screen here. And you get a free bite down. Run around here and end this guy. This guy should not see you. And then you've got uh, an Okami warrior in here. And one more noble over here. Just so you can get at a little bit of loot back here. Yellow gunpowder. But we're not done. There's, there's a bit more to go. So we'll go around this way. Gotcha and sugar really makes you hard to see. And a lump of grave wax. Excellent. Now there's that back there. We can completely ignore those. And just run like the Dickens past this setup. Because you do not want to have to deal with it. Get rid of this guy. Definitely got to get rid of that guy. And you just hurry up and... Ah! Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that didn't go as planned. All right. The Okami really don't have very great posture. That normally doesn't happen. If, if, I, if, if I had gone just a little bit faster, things would have been better. So before pressing forward, we're going to kind of switch back here, do another Gatchin. I'll use the sugar. Doesn't really make a huge difference. And I'm going to jump up onto this roof. Run around this way on the left hand side. And take out these Okami warriors that are right here. Try to work your way around them so that they don't spot you as easily. Alright, and back here, roaming around down there on the ground, is a bull creature. Now, it was a very easy tactic for taking them out. Surprise them with a firecracker, do a little bit of damage, and they will lose their fucking mind. They'll uh, lose their mind, jump into the thing, and... Instant posture, death, gone, bye. Very easy quick kill on them. So you got a prayer bead and the final, uh, final addition to your spirit emblem. So now you can carry a max of 20, which is just great. Now we can just run around the outside here. And there's still going to be a lot more running going on. Let's just go ahead and take a quick rest so we can top off our everything. And as you go forward, giant fish. Great. Alright, so now at this point, I'm just going to throw caution to the wind. We are running through this whole situation. Want to head up here, gonna run past these two, and over here, grapple up. Alright, and that's most of the dangerous area of the Divine Realm already taken care of. I'm gonna turn left when we get up here, and up there is going to be a grapple point. You want to grab that? Don't worry about the lizards. Out of my way. And we'll jump over here. And we'll jump over here. Gather a couple spirit emblems. And there's another idol. But first... Yeah, sure. Okay, so that is yet another uh, idol. So let's talk to this guy. Mio 
それを持てば存分に褒美を取らそうぞ Pot Noble Koremori.、Uh, there's another Pot Noble in the game, and that's back at the Hirata Estate. And he's selling various and sundry. Now, in order to get his mask fragment, we need 12. In order to get the fragment from the other Pot Noble, we need 9. So a total of 21. The third fragment, it can be bought for 5,000 sen by the,、um, from the memorial mob that's outside the、uh, Sheena dungeon. All right, so we did that just to get that particular、uh, thing there. And, you know, again, don't, don't be tempted to jump down into the water. You're not going to like what you see, you're not going to like what happens to you. So we're just going to go ahead and、uh, grapple our way back up through the lizard cave here. And、uh, grapple our way back up to this bridge. Now, this here door is locked. Can't open it from this side. And now we gotta do another mad dash. So keep running straight. Don't worry about the Okami. Jump over this. Run around here. Get this idol. And a quick rest just to get everybody off your back. And over here, there's that person we saw from the other side of the lake. Now,、um, they're,、uh, they're going to kick a ball around and basically, you know, lightning you to death. But if you、uh, are quick enough, when they try to jump, just Get up in the Okami leader's face and whack and wail him to death. They are absolutely pathetically flimsy. And now you can swim around freely without having to worry about getting shot by lightning from nowhere. I don't know if I can make it across that. Probably can't. Not a big deal, though. Now, the next portion of things is we're going to、uh, try and work our way down a little bit here. I'm going to drop off this and、uh, jump in here. Now, over on this rooftop here, we got another old lady. それならば脇道の方がよろしいです。今は水の中、主の恋の寝床になっている大きな洞窟の先でございます。And if we talk to her a bit further, なぜそのような。大理の扉はもう長い間閉じたままです。大事なお使いがあるのですがこのババの身ではどうにも果たしようもなくお若いお人に大理の扉を開けていただければと Yeah, sure we can open it for you So now that we have full access to everything that's under the water You see this giant fish swimming down into that cave down there. Now that's our way forward, but what I want to do is、uh, just try to gather up as many carp scales as I can. And some of them will just be sort of hanging loose around the place. So you can grab them, no problem. Some of them you're going to actually have to sneak up on some fish. And these fish are not quite the same as、uh, fish you've encountered er elsewhere, they're much faster. And they're much easier to get away from you. So, hide in these,、uh, I don't even know what the hell you call these, lotus sleeves, I guess. And just try to sneak up on them. So, we want to get ourselves to、uh, 21 treasure carp scales total. Now, I believe we can find all that we need down in the depths here.、Uh, down here, it's going to get a little bit、uh, sketchy, though. Precious bait. 
It's going to get a little bit sketchy down here because there is another headless. And it's not just one. There's a, a second one over here. This one is, uh, is a lot weaker than the other one. It's more of a phantom, really. Ow. Get my ass killed. Maybe uh, use some maneuvering. Just get rid of. Now you can still drink underwater, but just getting rid of that guy removes a lot of the troubles you're going to face fighting the main one. And yeah, it would help to have uh, used a Divine Confetti, but there's not really a very convenient place to stand to use that. Yeah, he's, he's going to be a problem, isn't he? So I'm going to break off from this fight. I've already gotten rid of his uh, little twin there. And look, there's a treasure carp swimming with some dangerous fish. Good. More treasure carps. Now, actually, we can uh, get together quite a few treasure carp scales if we went back to the Harada estate. Uh, but let's just grab what we can here. Ow! Alright, fish. Mean fish. And it's a shame you can't really use your prosthetics down here, because I sure would like to throw stars at them. So, alright, we, uh, we had one fish get away from us. I'm going to try and uh, get up to where I can actually stand on some ground here. And, oh, look, a friend. Okay. So now that we're a little bit better off, let's just go ahead and uh, pop ourselves a Divine Confetti. Get the party going. And head on down and take care of the final Headless. <laughs> head on down. Now you don't need to take care of this guy. Woo. Thankfully, uh, his little twin didn't respawn. Oh, God, yeah. He is, uh... He's not a happy camper. He's definitely stronger than, uh, Umgo was. Don't get greedy. Getting greedy results in trouble. Ah! He could terror us. I mean, oof. What was that stutter about? I don't know what's causing those stutters. But, that's the final headless. And that's the final spirit fall. Great, so we got that taken care of. Now, there's more treasure to be had. Precious bait. And down here is where the good stuff is. Another scale. Another scale. Open the chest, and it's going to be a prayer bead. Perfect. So, now we've literally collected all the prayer beads that you can collect without fighting a boss. I'm just going to hang around here for a second and see if uh, any other treasure corpse show up. We are at uh, 15 now, so another 6 need to be found. Five. And I'm pretty sure of where I can find one. A red lump. Ooh. Like coin purse, scrap magnetite, just, you know, plenty of little treats down here. We haven't really hunted the Harada estate out, so we should be able to uh, make up most of what we're going for by heading back to that. But I'm just going to grab one more carp that I know about from this area. He's over here. Now don't worry if he sees you, it's not a big deal if you just wait a little while in, in concealment. He's going to show back up again. Lots of precious bait. It's actually useless, but, you know. 
Yeah, those fish are still following. Alright, and if my count is correct... Yep, four more needed. So I'm actually going to warp to the Hirata Estate now. Uh, just to the uh, estate path. All right, here we are at the Harada Estate Path, and I might as well go ahead and uh, get that ninth prayer necklace. Three more beads to go. So just go ahead and turn around and run out here. Ignore these dudes, they're nothing. You'll get spotted by a dog most likely, but don't worry about him. And uh, just do your best to keep up with these treasure carp. They'll vanish quickly, but you know, these are easier to get a hold of than uh, some of the others. I say as I completely whiff on two fish. This one is a surface fish, though. He's one you could easily get uh, even before you get the breathing technique. Okay, how many do we have now? 19, I just need two more. Yeah, and there, there was him. There was Pot Noble uh, Korimori. No, this, that's Harunaga. Yeah, those, those fish are fast. Just uh, float around in these reeds here, and they will reappear eventually. Maybe I'll try to sneak around. There he goes. Can't run from me from there forever. Okay. Just need one more and there he is. Awesome. So now we have 21 tre treasure carp scales and that is what we need. And yes, I'm going to get the Mask Fragment right. He also sells the Withered Red Gourd, which is uh, basically a replacement, so to speak, for the uh, Dowsing Powder. But honestly, I don't need it. I want that. Now, Floating Passage is tempting, but I mean, it's just... It's just a bunch of, uh, it's, it's another combat art. Now, if you purchase something from them, they'll talk to you. And talk to him again. Truly precious bait. If the bait has hair, you know it's something really special. Oh boy. The good old laugh. So let's get back to the Divine Realm. And we're back at the near pot noble idol. Yep, I brought you some scales. Mask fragment left. Perfect. And we even got some left over. I guess I only needed 19. So... Nah, I'll hold on to him. Talk with them. 
我と同じ都合に合うことがあってもあやつの願いに聞かぬべをくれやあれは一族の恥者己のため主の恋様を新鮮とした大逆の罪人よ So he says, talk to him again. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. One more talk? Sure, why not? And another truly precious bait. And they're lying, they're not going to give you any special treasure. <laughs> yeah, they're great. Okay, just uh, one more piece to get, and uh, I'm just going to pop one coin purse, and I'm going to take a trip to the uh, Ashina Castle uh, abandoned dungeon entrance. Here we are, and we're going to buy from this guy. The Mask Fragment Dragon, the final piece. Now we have the Dancing Dragon Mask. So, every five skill points we can raise our attack power by one. Very handy. Now let's travel back to the uh, Fountainhead Palace. We're going to go back to near the Pot Noble once more. And before we press on, there is something I'd like to take care of. It might have actually been better to have gone to the uh, to the other idol, but I think we'll be fine if we continue down this path. Thing is, there's there's another Shichimen warrior around here, not too far at all. And the thing about fighting him is, uh, you got to do it kind of quickly. Ow! Because the thing about the him is that we've got these dogs surrounding him. And if these guys decide to get in on the action, it's going to make for troublesome times. Couldn't exactly hit that one, but oh well. Oh hey, whoop! You don't want to get involved with those dogs. And, yeah, you can hear that noise. That is the Shichimen warrior. He's close. Come on, I know I can get up on this. There we go. Yeah, that's one of the dogs that can get really close. So, alright. There he is. We're gonna pop a Divine Confetti. And we can actually get a surprise attack on him. Oh, no, we didn't, but okay, that's fine. I'm going to get terrored to death. That's okay. He's going to drop, and he's going to reappear over there. Now, this battleground is a little bit less favorable on account of the fact that uh, it's very narrow. And he, he swings back. But, at least the one advantage you have is that you know for a fact where he's going to reappear. And 
and this little fucker decided he was going to join in. So yeah, this didn't go as optimally as it could have. Oh, this has happened. So, yeah, we have uh, invoked Dragon Rot, and fairly late in the game, I should feel proud of myself. Uh, Rot Essence is going to basically pop up here, and it's going to be under this section, I believe. Let's see. Yeah. Now, the thing is, a lot of people wonder, well, where in the hell do we find the, uh, the other people? Because basically, this is going to open up a little quick quest line with Emma that you gotta go find a blood sample from somebody who's sick. Now, of course, the sculptor is sick, but uh, the second rot essence that you get is gonna tell you who's sick right now. The info broker right now is sick. So if you find out whoever the info broker is, you know who's gonna be sick. So if you talk to Emma, わが氏すみません。その理由がいいを直す術は分かりません。ですが、突き止めれば、まずは死の残した記録を当たってみます。頼む。Alright, so um, talking to her again right now is not going to yield anything. You actually have to go and rest. Now, the info broker means Fujioka the info broker and hello fellow. Don't worry, he's not going to die. But let's sell some items just so we can uh, get our money back up. Stuff I don't need. We don't need sugars anymore. We are in a post-sugar society now. And that'll do for the time being. You got anything good, buddy? No, you don't. So, got a rest. And then go back to Emma, who will by now have uh, gone through her works. She'll be here crouching by the sculptor. はい。and how convenient it is that our man over here has the rot so let's talk to him once more yada yada and now we can collect blood sample that's uh that's appetizing looking now we bring it to emma enough of your nonsense buddy you'll be fine in a few minutes Oh, apparently I got to rest once more. 
Yeah, she's got a she's got to move from where she is in order to do that. They they expected you to leave the area and come back, but you know the uh, the RNG put Fujioka there in the spot. So okay, there's Emma. Okay, I was worried she moved somewhere else. That's the reference to you going into the、uh, second dream. But now we have the blood sample. Perfect. So now we go rest one more again. Rest. And just so you know, the effects of the dragon rot is that it reduces your chance of unseen aid. So if you die, you're less likely to get that unseen aid, and you're going to lose half of your、uh, half of your experience towards the next point, and half of your money. I'm going to go ahead and just buy out some spirit emblems. Why not? Top up on those. And oh, I did forget to rest. Okay. So now I go back and talk to Emma. This time. ま、ていました。流害の源。それは血の淀みです。何故違いを飲む。あなたはたとえ改正の力が尽きていたとしても、いずれ蘇っています。代わりの力をどこかから奪っているのでしょう。流害になったものからか。おそらく。流害になったものは人が人として生きるための当たり前の力を奪われています。故に血が淀むのでしょう。どうやって直す？奪ったものを返せばいい。これを受け取ってください。And she'll give you a dragon's blood droplet and a recovery charm. And the recovery charm. Blah. What it does is it lets you burn one dragon's blood droplet to undo dragon rot, and all you gotta do it is is one time. One dragon rot restoration will cure everyone, so you do it. There you go. Now our unseen aid is back to thirty percent, and Fujioka's doing just fine. So let's go talk to Emma again, real quick, just to see if she has anything special to say. And I won't be doing that because I don't feel like it. So let's go ahead and round off the divine realm here. Actually, we're gonna go to the Great Sakura because that's gonna be closer to the Shichiman Warrior. Now, let's see here. What's the best way to get to our buddy? Well, that's one way to. Drop a long distance. Stars will easily take care of these guys. Yep, there, there he is. I'm trying to see if there's a way I can climb up any higher to、uh, get to him, because I wanna, I wanna manage that death blow. I, I wanna somehow manage to get 
that death blow on him, that, that opening strike that's going to uh, give me that advantage I need so badly. As you can see, the dog joined the fight, and he did not help matters in the slightest. But exploring around a little bit does uh, net you a little bit of treasure. Accidental smack of the wrong button there. Ah, looks like I took out two dogs with one star. So, Alright, let's get back up here. And let's see if we can sneak up on him this time. I'll go ahead and uh, do a gotcha in spirit fall. And another divine confetti. I'm not hot barring the divine confetti this time. And it looks like if he's spotted you, then that's it. So I'm just going to get away from him for a second because he seems to have an aura of terror around him. And I'm going to try my best to run at his other spawn point so as to avoid his blast. Interestingly, he seems to have a little halo around his head there. Beat him to the punch, and smack, 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 smack. Yeah, he's going to take a couple swings. I'm definitely going to have to do another Divine Confetti. But I think he'll vanish now, good. And I'll try to do an Akko Spirit Fall, and I'm most definitely going to have to dodge him. So, since you don't have a whole lot of room to maneuver, then do your best. No, you don't, sir. Yeah, this guy takes swings at you now. But if you're, uh, if you're hard enough, then you can basically weather a couple swings. Might want to drink. Like to take him out before he vanishes again. Yes! Now all you get for killing this one is some Lapis Lazuli. So, completely optional. Do not need to fight. Do not need to bother. So, we might as well, you know, finish out this section here. Might as well. Just gonna jump into the water and work our way down to the cave that the giant carp swam into. I'm not even sure if I'm going the right direction right now. Yep, there it goes, okay. It's closer to the surface. Alright, so uh, at this point here, you're gonna have to deal with the divine carp, the big bad boy, in this section here. If he sees you, he is going to take a big old run, and he is going to destroy... Yeah, this guy is tough. Thankfully, he uh, has quite a long cooldown after his first strike, so if you survive it, then just, you know, swim past him into this section, and there you go. All right. Rest up. And here we are. So this is just behind the uh, the door that we could not open. And we're going to open it for the old lady. And just look at what's going on here. They're eating the bodies of the fallen Okami warriors. Now you can easily destroy these guys, just smash them to pieces. thing to be aware of, okay? Well, this is actually a not terrible place to farm a few things, uh, including experience and some uh, fat wax and theoretically some grave wax. As soon as you open that door, and here's our final gourd seed, by the way, as soon as you have opened that door, oh, he, this guy didn't die. 
You got a very special death, sir. A stab. Once you've opened the door and rest again, then uh, something's going to happen that basically makes them never appear again. Oh. What's going on here? So now we know why she wanted that door opened up. Uh, it seems that old body of hers was just fine to do this. So we're gonna go ahead and round things off by f finishing off one final quest. The quest that the uh, other old lady sent us off on. And we do that by going around back here. Swinging up to that. And uh, we're going to try and catch that branch if we can. Excellent. Jump down onto this roof. Jump across. Go to hell. Boom, done. A dog has seen us, but it's no big deal. So if we jump down here, and then jump down here, get one more sculptor's idol. And there's this interesting fellow. Don't worry, he's, he's harmless. So you ring the bell to feed the carp. Let's go ahead and do that. And there he is. Now you can just feed him regular ass bait. Which won't do a thing. Or you can select a truly precious bait. Now, a decision has to be made here, really. Uh, you can feed him Pot Noble Harunagas or Pot Noble Korimori's bait. The result of this is going to be that the one you didn't, the one whose bait you didn't feed to the fish, they're gonna die. And number two, whoever it is that you did feed the bait from, they're gonna turn into a carp. Now, there's no functional difference. You don't lose out on anything. One will gain the other's inventory. So the decision is really down to well, who do we want to, uh, who do we want to turn into a fish? Now, considering the unnatural nature of these fish and all that nonsense going on, I kind of feel like it would be better if uh, Cory Mori turned into the fish, because then he at least would stay in the Divine Realm and not in the real world where he could be of further harm. So let's go ahead and do that. And you give him that bait and rest and dude's gonna be over here he sounds very upset and there's nothing we can do. So, now that we fed that bait to the fish, we're going to take a quick journey to the uh, Sunken Valley to the Guardian Ape's watering hole. And here, why, there's the dead body of the giant carp. Uh, I know what some of you are thinking. How the hell did it wind up over here? This is a random-ass place for a dead body from the Divine Realm to end up. But really not so much, because this is where the divine waters of the Fountainhead are spilling into. So, you know, it makes some sense. And right here you get the Great White Whisker. 
Now let's just go ahead and head on back to the feeding grounds. And he's still standing there. Skip through that and give him the great white whisker. And he gives you a divine grasp for your trouble. So now he is freed from his uh, duty. Now let's go take a quick gander at uh, Cory Mori there and see what he's up to. So now over by Cory Mori's pot, he's not there anymore, but you got a lapis lazuli. And look, there's a new fish down there. Let's go say hi. He didn't mind that we jumped on top of him. So, there you go. Now, this is a place where you can get some lapis lazuli. So, uh, you know, if you want to farm some fish scales for that, remember you can buy two from the immemorial mob in the Poison Valley there. But honestly, we're not going for all that. Yeah, he wants more scales. So, let's uh, go ahead and warp back to the uh, feeding grounds there. And now that we're here, well, first off, let's just suck up the goods. Two treasure carp scales, not bad. And this man is dead. So that brings that family's sad, tragic saga to a close. One final thing we're going to do in this video is we are going to just finish out the uh, quest line for opening up the, uh, the path of the dragon's homecoming because that's where the poll seems to be going. You've still got time, all right? There's another episode or two before I put that in and I'm going to be waiting until this episode goes live. The day that this episode goes live, before I record the final episode, I'm going to check the poll and close it out. You still have time to vote for the ending you want. Again, it's trending heavily in the direction of the uh, Dragon's Homecoming, but come on guys, let's let's keep Kuro alive. Save Kuro. Let's go to the Inner Sanctum. Alright, we're back. The doors are open, and she seems to have gotten over whatever it was she was doing. やはり、いらしてくださったのですね。巫女の忍びよ。私は。ゆりかごとなれたようです。手を取っていただけますか。ああ、これは。ひんやりと。氷室のようでございましょう。だから、ほら。私の涙も。
So the Frozen Tears. This is the item you need to unlock the Dragon's Homecoming ending. Alright. Now one final thing. How about some rice? お手を。白金の宝条を。これは冷たい。凍えたこの体が。お米を冷たく輝かせるのでしょう。まるで笹目雪だ。確かに。では、そう呼びましょう。巫女の忍びを。笹目雪を。<笑> Fine snow, so uh, even better rice than the rice we've already got, which is already pretty damn good. Now, uh, this is what she's going to be giving you from now on, so if you need to use it in a pinch, feel free, come back and get some more from her. It's a really fantastic healing item, actually. <laughs> And, yep, that's it. So, yep, I think that's going to cut it for tonight. And uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember, get your vote in on the poll. Let's save Kuro. I will honor the poll, but I want to save Kuro. So, come on, guys. Put, put your votes in. Y'all are going to troll me. Anyways, thanks for watching. Goodbye.